Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Stone Shard. It's been a hot minute since we've looked at this, but being 2021 and there's been some updates that I've missed, I think it's time to dip back in and have a look. So, uh, circa December 25th, around about, you know, Christmas, um, they put another equipment update in and they've added two handed maces and two handed axes, which that's it. That's it. I'm reinstalling it. So, let's go. Let's play. Because you know I love the uh, the old barbarian. Oh, hang on, what is going on here? Don't make me play the prologue. Please don't do it. All right, hang on. Um. All right, stand by, team. Play new game. Oh my goodness, I have to play through this again. Damn it! Where am I? You are awake. No try. They can't be right. Curses. Doesn't look like we won that fight. Okay, um, what is going on? Stuff it. Let's, uh, let's power through. Let's, let's see how a bloody, a veteran of this game goes. Take these manacles off, I guess. Oh, look. Your bad feeling was spot on this time. So for those not aware, you play through this this uh, this prologue section as Varen, the um, sort of uh, Gandalfian quest giver type guy in the main game. Because uh, so once you get through this and escape, you then pick your own sort of character and uh, do quests for him. Well, not specifically for him, but there is a quest that you can do for him. Anyway, let's see. Can I no control clicks on the ground shift clicks on to my hand that's cool that's fine um hungry and thirsty so we'll drink and we'll eat that should fix that right up doors locked pick it with a lock pit do I have a lock pick I do okay easy peasy I hope I'm not alone survivor got to arm myself yes. We'll see how, yeah, we'll see how we go, you know, no, no ego, but I've played a lot of this game, but I haven't played this since back in the day when it was just a prologue. Um, do we have a search for traps? We do not. Maybe we do if I go to skills, basic skills, except, no, okay, I feel like maybe we'll unlock it as we go. Um, corpse, locks, body. I'm not that worried about pick locking all these doors. And blood trails. Seems like I was the only one to be left in the dungeon. Yes. Bit strange indeed. All right, let's, uh... Nothing going on there. Oh, what do we got here anyway? Iron bar? Yes. So one of the interesting things with this prologue... It's actually a pretty good prologue. You see this sort of thing in uh, a lot of video games where... Your character... I don't know why we'd want manacles. But let's leave them. Where your character starts quite powerful and then gets depowered, right? Oh, okay, Jesus, mate. Um, in this, you seem to, if I recall, unless they've changed it, you get a whole lot of weapons, spells. They give you bloody everything in this prologue, so you can sort of just fiddle with it all. We're just going to disrespect this dude and smash a box. Um, let's make him come closer and stab him. Look at that. Oh my goodness. He didn't stand a bloody chance, did he? Shiv. 16 crush. Oh, well, here we go. Let's go dual wield. Let's not mess around. I'll tell you what, I'd love to play this guy. In the main campaign. Burn. He's he's barbarian as anything. Led to death. Such a foolish way to go. I don't know if he had much Looks to do like about there it. Is a trap. I have to take a look around unless I want to share. Foolish, what? Bleeding this foolish. Well, I mean, it's a bit, a bit rough, putting that on him. All right. Well, there we go. We'll disarm that. We'll put on Burns' sash. And Damn, now, I forgot about my leg. Hurts more and more. Okay. Cool. So for people, oh Jesus, that's crazy. So people not aware, this actually is a really robust medis medicine treatment system. Uh, so we'll go to the health tab, and you can see we've got a minor leg injury, and it generates pain, which gives us all sorts of uh, debuffs as it hits different levels. You can see up here, we're already getting a fumble. It reduces healing, we get more damage as well. 
So what you want to do is, uh, well, does the game want us to deal with it in some way? Because this, I don't think we've got, search the storage room. You can splint it at a certain All these level. Boxes. Um. Look at that. Oh my god, I've never seen so many medical supplies. Uh-huh. Can use this. Alright. Let's go into the health tab. Alright. So you can splint. Injury treatment plus 35. So essentially if you treat the injury to such a point, you can stabilize it. So it no longer causes pain to accumulate, right? But if you wanted to uh, eliminate it entirely, oh, hang on, stabilize injuries, retain the negative effect, but no longer accumulate pain. When your body cart condition is restored to a certain threshold, it will heal completely, right? So to accelerate it, use a salve. There we go. And the whole, and the thing's gone away straight away. The lower your health, the higher your pain limit. Uh, the pain makes healing less effective and even kill you if it reaches high enough numbers. You can get rid of it with uh, a variety of things. Okay, so an ether inhaler, which will likely give us toxicity, right? Intoxication. Okay, well, we'll use it. So now we've managed to clear the pain, but we've got intoxication. And, and there's an interplay between those two throughout the game, all right? This is actually pretty cool going through the tutorial sort of back from the beginning. Uh, if your character's condition is incredibly dangerous, it reaches high enough numbers. And uh, you can inject an antidote, right? Causes confusion. Okay. All right. You feel better, but your health is still low. It should heal over time. Best way to heal is on rest mode, which is only available out of battle. Resting also accelerates hunger and thirst gain, so it should be used sparingly. Oh, you can press R. It used to be F1, but I'll just do that. The time starts ticking by. That's better. At least I'll live. That's it, mate. That's it. Move the camera around with middle mouse button. Very good. Okay. Yeah, but it's like it's almost Tarkov like the way that uh the way that it handles Oh my goodness. You see what I mean? It's got we've got everything. Um What are we gonna take? what is this? A two handed sword? Yeah, that sounds pretty bloody re reasonable. Uh, I mean, we can put in an off slot as well. Um, I'm not that worried. I, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of axes. They do all sort of slashing damage, but actually, I really enjoy maces, things like that. Um, I'm not actually worried about hoarding all this gear because the game. I know the game's going to take it off me. That'll do. And uh, we'll switch back to the two-handed sword. Yeah, the, there's uh, there's a lot of stun mechanics in uh, maces. All right, well, we got a level. Stronger by getting new abilities. Right, so the skill tree is here. You can see there's grayed out ones that we're just not able to access. This is not what it's going to look like in the main game. The fact that I've got access to all these skills is pretty nuts. Oh, I don't really have, have them, actually, because I don't have the treatise for them. Interesting. Read the corresponding book to unlike this. Uh, unlock this? Oh. No good. Oh, I'm going to level up my strength. Uh, we don't need a shiv. I might just hold that point in case it's going to give me a room full of books or something. Uh, we'll take that just in case because that has a healing uh, ability. Bah, a pyromantic treatise. All right, so we can use that. And what you do is basically read it. Well, I can show you the before and after. So if we go to um, sorcery, right? Pyromancy, it's all locked out. But if you go here and read the book, it adds the ability to get these skills now, which I have. Well, it wants me to learn it for the game, so let's do that. Not really a big magic person, but that's fine. 
But uh, you know what? Let's, we'll, we'll be a good sport and set, set this bloke on fire. Jesus. Monistic book. What is that? Oh, okay. It's just a bit of story. Diary page. And then, uh, I don't know. Let's go down this hole. Archives. Oh, I really do not remember any of this. Geomantic. Oh, well, I mean, I'll read it. Diary page. Identifications. I gotta stop control clicking. This isn't Tarkov. Yeah, so there's an identity of uh, scroll mechanic. You see that in a lot of RPGs. I believe there are like cursed items that get stuck to you if you're, if you're not careful. Enchanting scrolls are really helpful in that they add a random enchantment. Here we go. I think that's what this is. So what we could do is like go to the enchantment scroll, you go use and put it on the sword. There we go. And now we've got a handy war site. Which has a lower fumble chance, I think. Finale, here we go. Look at this bloke. Look, I can't say I enjoyed where that, how that fight went, to be honest. We're okay across the board. We've got a little bit of wound damage here and there, but to be honest, I oh, can't even F1 anymore. Wow, they they really have changed it. It's, it's good to be back. It's good that there's so much that's different. Um, You know, look, I'm not going to be greedy about this because I also remember the final boss was a little bit of a doozy. Your head injuries actually really can reduce your health bar quite a bit. So I'm going to put that on my head. And then we'll rest. Head and torso. Your arms, not so much. They can take a bit of a beating. But um, the idea is that they've all got little health bars, but once they get below a certain amount, they will actually become like a damaged limb that you really do have to treat with a splint or whatever. So you have to play this, this idea of how much do you let it go? How much of a health bar are you comfortable with? You can see very slowly, we went to 95. So slowly, these these little wounds are going to heal themselves. I guess there's no real point reading any of these books. I don't have any skill points left. Nice. Oh, maybe fireballs aren't so bad, eh? Hello, sir. What was, he, what was he hitting with me with from... Oh, he must have had a spell. Enchantment scroll. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's put another enchantment on my uh, thing. Let's see what happens. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Oh, okay. Good to know. Maybe only one per... You can also attack doors. A control click, I think. Yeah, there you go. Still got it. Still remembered it. God damn it. It's shift click to pick things up. What's this question mark? Hello, sir. Oh, we leveled up, so that's cool. Let's, um, let's get some more strength. Let's go. I mean, it's not like I can really dual wielding two handed swords. Oh, there we go. Look, it's just auto unlocked all my treatise as well. So what is this faint swing? Can I take another one? No. Since the targets dodge counter and block chances to zero. After that, delivers a strike with a fumble chance and, uh, okay. Targeted staggered. Right, so you can do all sorts of interesting thing, chaining everything together. Um, hmm. 
Bongi, where are you running to? Nice. Alright. Uh, healing, how we going? Oh. Thirst is coming down, so let's deal with that a bit. That cleared a bit of toxication, I think, as well. Um, that's all right. We're doing all right, health-wise. Man, it's a cool little treat to be playing this little... The oh, I do remember this. I bet everyone was taken there. I, I have to find my way up. Oh, here we go. Put that on my head. Now, that's got three protection. Protection in this is just hard mitigation, which is pretty hard to pass up, if we're being honest. Um, I mean, look, I guess I could equip the bow and arrow, you know? Read. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, unidentified potion. We could identify it. We've got a lot of scrolls. Potion of Restoration. Improves your health restoration. Okay, that's pretty cool. We might need that, because this fight's a bit of a doozy, if I recall. Oh, Felling Axe. Tell me, tell me about that. Common... Oh, it's just a one-handed axe? Okay. I got excited. The two-handed weapons get me particularly jazzed. Um... Get out of you. Um, I think we're good to keep moving. I think we just thunder through at this point. Oh, just missed it too. Hello, sir. This music's all right. So she like sits a confuse on you, which is interesting. All right. Um. Yeah, look, we've got a lot of these cells, so we should use them. No need to push it. Eight. That's all right, health, I think, for the moment. God, what an absolute screamer of a game, though. I love it. Oh, yeah. Now, what is it? Stardust. It's a medicine, it's for uh, pain. Okay. Am I not trying to get past there? Oh, I'm confused. Have I missed the... Uh, have I missed the exit? Do I step on the trap? Maybe not. Maybe not. I oh, might rest through that. Jesus. That, that messed me up a fair bit. There we go. We've got a hand injury. So same thing. We'll splint that. Try and clear it quicker than than other things. Yeah, that'll make a huge difference. Uh, red. I got confusion, but it shouldn't matter while I'm sitting still. Um, you know what? We're gonna treat the torso. Just look, look at that, you got a big jump in our base HP. 
Makes a difference. All oh, right, we gotta go down here. Nice, another level up. I'll take it. Now, agility, dodge chance, counter chance, crit chance. Oh, that's pretty good as well. Maybe we'll go some agility this time. Now, what do we got here? Heroic charge. Ooh, a closer. Yeah, we could use that. Nice. Throwing net, but it's on a trap. Huh. Go this way. Man, I'm not remembering any of this. There we go. Oh, this is it. This is the big bad. Now, the game save, save system is absolutely brutal. So, uh, we're gonna go in and fight this big bloody demon thing, if I recall. Look at all these dead bodies. Brutal. You are alive. Oh, some boys. No, you can. no! Don't leave us here! Please! Make it stop! Ah, <laughs> an uninvited guest. We were hoping to save you for last. But since you came here willingly... Oh, well, there you go. So... You are the one behind all this madness. What a hard boy. You'll pay for everything. How arrogant. Look around you. It's over. Soon both the stone shard and your souls will serve the higher purpose. Yeah, all right. Still, the court appreciates your courage. You can serve us well. Put down your weapons. And perhaps we'll spare your life. Not to this time, abomination. Well, mm. We show you mercy. And yet you reject our gifts. Let the ritual begin. Kion North. Yeah, right. So just another Friday night in Brunswick with this bloke. All right. So uh, I believe we've got to mess these statues up. That are gonna they're gonna shoot goobies at me. Right, and he's gonna. Stop zapping me. Now I'm in pain, what's that about? Just generally in pain, are we? Well, we could take snort some bloody bathtub salts, that'll be good. And they've made me a bit thirsty. Oh god damn it, I kind of wanted to charge that guy. Uh oh. Oh wow, he died from the uh... You know what, I'm gonna take the uh, restoration potion. God damn it. Um... Oh, 
I'm not doing so well in the mana department, eh? Oh, that thing heals him. God damn. There we go. Don't. Huh. Bugger me. Alright, we've got intoxication. Antitoxin, but we've got pain. You know what? I'm going to pop this. And then I'm going to take this. Damn. Oh, I thought I had a diagonal there. There we go, finally. Alright, now he goes into his next phase. Um, what can we do? Try and clear intoxication. I'll drink. Rapid restoration. God, we're hurting a fair bit as well. Hang on. Inventory. Um. I thought I destroyed that statue. Oh no. Okay. My bad. Yeah. Oh, stick the old bloody stone shard or whatever it was in his head. How cool is this? Yeah, right. Um. There we go. Well, he's going around eating bodies. Stop that. Big hit though. God damn it's still hitting me. Okay. Oh no. 
Oh, well, fuck. Hang on. Oh, that's really not good. Ah, brutal! Now, if you reload, um... At least it'll go from the beginning of the boss fight again. Beard's good. That's nice and tough, actually. I really, uh, really appreciate that. But look, we'll probably finish up there. Well, that's cool. I'm, I'm still thoroughly impressed with this sort of prologue as a first taste to this game. Um, again, I was just expecting to jump in as a new character, as always. But this showcases it really well, and that was part of me wanting to revisit it. I do want to play with all the new toys and weapons and all that. So let me know what you reckon. I'm happy to play more episodes of this and, we'll, you know, get into the actual... Uh, character building and the main meat of the game, but this was still fun to be to revisit. Actually, um, I'm glad. I'm glad this game's still going forward leaps and bounds. This is. I, I remember being so hyped for this when it came out, and um, and I still love it to this day. All right, team. Thanks again for joining me. Uh, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.